Paul. Yeah. Yeah, I was sitting here and they have what's called self. Oh my gosh, somebody just honked their horn. Oh, is that right? <laughs> uh, the complete and essential being of a person, personal interest, advantage, or welfare. <laughs> and then they have uh, a security is uh, the state of being safe and free from danger or risk, protection, and object given to assure the fulfillment of an obligation. <laughs> Now, you can appreciate that in my own personal interest, in my, well, my person, I mean, I'm working on self today. Yes. When you obstruct my rights as an American citizen because of your refusal to remove a protection order that was issued without any due process, it becomes frustrating when I know what I want to do with my own life. Now, obstructing my right to my personal interest, what is of advantage to myself or my personal welfare, is obstructing me from having uh, what should be mine. Now let's say that I wanted volunteers and I've included quite a few drives where I sent emails asking for volunteers and some people say, well, it's all just a bunch of a ballyhoo. <laughs> but I kind of think there are some women that did want to volunteer to give me babies, but what they didn't understand was the reasoning for why I would spend $40 billion over the next 25 years in personal security. <laughs> Why I would pay $50,000 a year in child support for every baby. Ouch. <laughs> and why I would want to have all my innovations and sue every oath of office. You know, one of the things that volunteers do above and beyond coming to the office is they all give their menstruations every month. Every woman that volunteers, every employee and volunteer. <laughs> now, the medical establishment has done a very poor job identifying diseases that are harmful to men and women. See, I set up a a personal service where I've said, well, I'd like you to use this menstruation cup because I'm going to test the menstruation of every woman every month looking for any unyet to identified, unyet to be identified diseases that could mutate the population. Pooch. <laughs> then I designed a a special vaginal massager that you can change the head on so that I could grind all those cells on the cervix of every woman that volunteers. <laughs> it seems like those that are in the medical profession are afraid to ask for the mucus behind the cervix channel and the only way that I know of getting it in front of the cervix channel <laughs> is setting up a, a worldwide system of monitoring those women that volunteer to give me babies they volunteer their menstruation so that it can be tested for any yet to be identified diseases <laughs> they volunteer to give me the fat out of their bodies and it's not a lot of liposuction I just need a few samples of fat from different areas of their bodies especially those that that find that they're two cup sizes bigger when they're stimulated <laughs> and then they volunteer because when they give me a baby I ask them to lactate I want them to nurse every child that we have and I take samples of all those breasts now there was a few emails that explained how I use biochips <laughs> I designed a breast pump that when they have that special mammary gland orgasm, otherwise known as the breast orgasm, I milk all the glands in their breasts on the second and the sixth month after having a baby. <laughs> I take all that breast milk and I test it for any diseases. Now, every volunteer and employee that gives me a baby, really what they decided to do was to volunteer to be that group, that controlled group of women where all of the menstruation, the lactation, the mucus is tested. So 
so as to identify any communicable disease that might exist in any nation of the world. Now, those in medicine have been afraid to ask for what's really needed to be able to identify any diseases, cancers, those that I've said, well, I don't want any lumps and I don't want any cysts. <laughs> well, it is such that with that many women volunteering to be in conference center meetings, I make them all super beautiful and I've explained why that is, but what you need to understand is I pay for that amount of security and that amount of child support so as to have a global system of identifying and any diseases that might be communicable. You know, the urine and the feces can be taken at any hospital, <laughs> but the menstruation, the lactation, and the mucus is something that I paid to have set up for every five-star volunteer that volunteers their erogenous zones. <laughs>